Hey everyone, it's Melody. I'm here with a review video for these iBloom Aoyama Tokyo um, Cake Squishy. They're relatively new and they are so cute and really slow rising. So I thought I would do a separate kind of review video of these. Um, I'm actually gonna open one of them up, probably this one, cause I like it the most. So um, they do come in three designs. So I will show that. Um, you've got this white cake with the white icing, the strawberries in the middle, and then you've got this pink one with the pink icing and the strawberries in the middle, and then you have this brown chocolate cake with the brown icing and the strawberries. So very cool. I'm going to go ahead and put these two to the side since we're just going to be opening up this one. Now, first of all, the packaging is really cute, individually wrapped. Um, comes with a really cute bow. This tag that says, I bloom Aoyama Tokyo Squishy. There's a little label at the bottom that says, Shortcake Aoyama Tokyo Squishy. And this side says, I bloom with the I bloom website on it. And the bottom is where you'll find all of the warnings, labels, barcode, etc. So um, we're going to open this up. It comes with one of these twisty ties. They are gold. Gold twisty tie. It just kind of comes off, so no big deal. Oh, the back of the tag also has a little bit of something written on it in Japanese. Cute. So we'll take this out. So here is what it looks like out of the packaging. Oops. And then this just kind of slides on out. The texture of it, it is quite soft, but the, um, and smooth, I mean, but the little cake sponge parts, um, are also, are also textured to feel, um, a little bit more like bread than the cream part. It smells a little bit like strawberries too. So the design on the top is really nice. The strawberry is nice and um, textured as well. It's not as glossy and shiny as some of my other squishies, but it looks really nice. So, And now let's go ahead and squeeze. It's really slow rising. well for it to come back up. You can hear kind of some of the air come out of it when you squeeze it. So it's a pretty airy, squishy. really nice I like it a lot the nice thing about this squishy is if you plan on having it out of the packaging it can stand on its own so it's kind of cute if you had it like as a display on you know a plate or whatever um, they don't come with a ball strap or a cell phone strap or anything like that um, so they're kind of they're not so much keychains they're really just squishies to squish or to have for your collection they are a little bit on the pricier side. Um, I believe these were $17 or something like that. So they are pricier um, than your other typical squishies. But I do believe the quality is really nice and the look of them, you know, it's pretty cute and realistic. Um, and then I typically collect mostly 
slow rising squishy nowadays anyways so um, anything that I see that is pretty slow rising like this one I am more than likely to get so if you are a collector of slow rising squishies this is probably one for your collection now as far as what color you like personally I do prefer this one I think the white icing is the um, visually most pleasing um, of all the other ones but if you are a fan of like chocolate cake I guess the chocolate one would be really nice to have um, or the strawberry one. Strawberry one's pretty cute too, but uh, I prefer the white one. As far as um, defects or cracking and such, um, I'm sure it will at some point, but... Um, oh, and here's a little bloom licensing there. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not... I, I don't typically worry too much about it because some of these I'm, I know I'm just going to have in my collection, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, because it is slow rising, uh, I can see that, you know, like this part might get a little bit delicate, like the thinner areas, um, or like the little pieces here, like the strawberry, which are connected more by a base like this than, you know, the whole piece. So those areas might get a little bit more sustainable to, you know, wear and tear, but overall I think it's, it's pretty good, high quality stuff. So it is an investment, I would say, though, it, 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 you know, for a squishy collector, they are a little bit on the higher end. Um, I think someone asked me if I would uh, recommend getting a cake or a peach. Um, if you are into like the squish factor, if you really want a slow rising one, I kind of think the peaches are a little bit more slow rising than the cakes. However, if you're into more of like the look and the design and the... Um, uh, I guess the art of it. Um, these are obviously a little bit more, um, in, you know, detailed with how they look. Um, they have more going on, on with them than the peach does. But um, it's hard to say which which one to go for. If you like if you like slow rising, I would go peach. But if you want something that's um, really you know um, artistic and cute, I would go with a cake. They're really nice. So. So that is it. If you guys have any more questions on these iBloom cake squishies, uh, let me know in the comments below. Or if you guys want to see any more um, reviews, let me know of that as well. I'll be more than happy to um, make a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more squishy videos, check out my um, playlist in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!